Civic Mirror is a new, revolutionary product that will help you and your children have a vital learning experience to better understand our government. This simulation will help you to develop opinions on how our government should be run and teach you how to interact in our society and become a better citizen. Using this program, you get to go on an easy-to-use site that will help you to understand everything about our fantastic world. Good morning, America. Welcome to my new show, The Government Must Have of 2012. Today, we're here with special guest, Mackenzie Paterino. She's introducing her new revolutionary product, Civic Mirror. Thanks, Emma. I'm glad to be here. My new revolutionary product, Civic Mirror, is designed to help the common person understand our incredible government. This is a great way for children everywhere to understand how to become an involved member in society. Wow. Sounds like a government must have 2012. Now, I've used this program, and I have nine children who also have used it, and we found that we had an enlightened view of the government after using it. Yes, in fact, our program is designed to teach three main lessons of government. <laughs> Good to know. Um, well, I would certainly love to know what these three lessons are, wouldn't you? As we all know, there are three severely important things that you learn from this experience. However, in Civic Mirror, there are many other enriching details about our government and society that you are presented with. These three, however, are the most important and will teach you the most about how our government fun functions and how you can be a part of our society and become a better citizen. So Mackenzie, what is the first lesson that you are taught in Civic Mirror? In Civic Mirror, in order to be successful in life and in government, you must take a leap of faith and not always play it safe because the people who took the most chances by buying businesses and running for government positions ended up the most successful in the game. See, this first year, all citizens participate in a hex auction, and those who bought businesses and made a living for themselves end up, ended up with the most money in the end. Yeah, I really noticed that when I was playing. For example, those who kept their money and didn't buy anything, they ended up with nothing. Without buying a business, they had no way to earn an income, and without a home, they had to pay for it it's somewhere else. And I think that this really shows that you have to be assertive in life and get what you want fast. Because without that, you're left without an income, without a home, and with many questions left unanswered. So Mackenzie, I know that there are three things that you mainly learn in Civic Mirror. What was the second thing? Well, as a user, what did you think? I would say that you always have to keep in mind your hidden agenda so that when you're acting in government or in society, you don't end up working against it. Many didn't keep them in mind, and they didn't accomplish their goals. You must always be as active as you can, and not push farther from your goals. Because if you're not active, then other people can work against you. Yes, that's exactly right. This is a simulation for life, because if you don't act for yourself and your family, you others will take your opportunities, and you won't get the things you need to survive. Also, you must be very involved in government in order to accomplish your tasks and keep others from working against you. You can't depend on others. That makes sense, because if you're just sitting by and doing what's only best for you and not your agenda, then, you know, you might not end up with what you wanted. Hello viewers! As many of you know, I was an avid participant in this program, as along with many others. Because of this, I would like to share the last and final lesson that you learned through Civic Mirror. In this simulation, hidden agendas are randomly dealt to each citizen. Many of the political views are very conflicting. One of my, the most important and helpful things that I learned was what my views were on how the government should be run and how it should involve itself in society based on what worked in Civic Mirror and what didn't. It was very helpful to have a real life situation to experience government firsthand as opposed to reading it in a book. This lesson does not only mirror something in real life, rather it teaches you a lesson about real life. 
All students have an opportunity to develop views on the government and society through this entire simulation. Well, my answer to what did I learn in Civic Mirror must be that this program taught me how to act in government and um, I feel like since I was so proactive, you know, I really did better in the game than most of the others who didn't do much. Me and my Star Trek gaming friends, you know, we, we, we put our money together and we bought a farm. And uh, now we have the most money in the game. And it's super exciting to be part of this world. And I think that it really gives insight into how the government was. I mean, at first we were a little frustrated because, you know, with all the wild cars, anything can happen and all your hard work can go away. You know, it's kind of surprising how much you have to pay attention to your hidden agendas, even if you don't always agree with everything. Well, yeah, I guess. I mean, the people who are in government generally did the best because they were able to, like, do their hidden agendas and, like, complete their objectives, but, you know, I couldn't because I didn't really have any power. So, I mean, like, I guess government was good, but I don't know. So, oh my goodness, Civic Mirror was so much fun, except for the, that my hidden agenda was like something that I didn't like, because I'm kind of a catalyst, you know, and things didn't really work out that well, because I was trying to convince people to have a less, less government, but you know, they weren't listening, and then our, our government, it just ended up with all the money, and then none of the people had money, and we were super poor, but other than that, you know, it was fabulous, yay, Civic Mirror, you know, and I really liked it, and I think that Civic Mirror is just kind of the best thing ever, you know, even though it has some challenges, and sometimes it doesn't really agree with things in life, you know, but I really like being super involved, and I can't wait until I can do it again, yay, yay, Civic Mirror! Sometimes, you just have to take a leap of faith and go for it. You have to, sometimes you have to bend over backwards to get your hidden agenda done. But this way, you'll be active and knowing that you are always working towards your goal. Be flexible so that you can get the best outcome. Sometimes you may be frustrated and your world may seem upside down, but you just persevere and get through it.